Do you find um, do you find a, a unique difference between? And I've talked to a lot of high school athletes on and 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 work with them in many many endeavors that I've done. But do you find there's a, a unique difference between the male high school athlete and the female high school athlete as they prepare to transition to possibly competing in college? Is there a difference in their mindsets uh, in terms of that transition? Do you notice anything different? Anything unique that that you can point out as as kids are are you know preparing for this? I think that's a great question. Um, and we've worked with tons of, of, you know, players across the country. I don't know if I see anything uniquely different. I think the one thing that I will say, sometimes I feel like female athletes sometimes have a tendency to give up a little bit quicker than male athletes. And it's okay. like, if I'm not getting recruited right, right away, I'm done. Um, and I find that to be interesting because there's so many positions open for female athlete roles in True. college. True. Um, but I think as far as just overall mindset, that's the biggest difference that I see. Um, and, and it ranges too. I think the one thing that I, I can tell you right now is going into recruiting process, unless if they have an older sibling, pretty much everybody's on the same playing field. doesn't matter where you're from, where you live, what part of the country, everybody's basically like, what do I do? How do I start? Where do I begin? Okay. Um, and what does all of this even mean? And how do I get a scholarship? And there's also a lot of misconceptions around scholarships as well, which I'm sure you know. Um, that is true. Yes. Yeah. 